I'm an Namaste guys, Christian Long, Life Enhancement Consultant, giving you a big and beautiful shout out on this Friday afternoon here in Denver, Colorado. It is 1 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time. We're jumping on for our daily dose of divine light, love, and power with our focus today on the light aspect. And I thought this was a good one. It looks sound a little bit le from left field, but Adriana, I'm an Namaste. So a couple days ago, I was at the grocery store with a good friend of mine, love her dearly, and we're like, hey, let's see if the dill pickle chips are here. Julian, I'm gonna stay. So the place, Karen, I'm gonna stay. So the place that we went to had dill pickle chips. And we're like, oh, those look good. And then as we were looking to buy these chips, the guy on the other end goes, like, like one of the workers, he sticks his head up because he was hearing us talk because we're the loudest people on the planet. And he stuck his head over the cashier area and he goes, oh, they're amazing. So we're like, oh, sweet. We buy the chips, we eat the chips. We're in complete taste bud bliss. Dill, they taste like an actual pickle in a chip form, these dill chips, right? So then, because we're on a roll, the next time we go back, which was two days ago, we're like, all right, we're gonna get the other kind of chips. So we said they had dill chips. They were amazing. We saw crab chips. We're like, crab chips, gonna be phenomenal. So I buy them. I bite into the first chip. She bites into her own separate chip. Akasana, I'm gonna say. And needless to say, they were horrible. You're like, why would you not think crab chips are not gonna be horrible? Of course they're gonna be horrible. They're crab chips. Well, we ate into them, bit into them, and as we were reading the fine print, artificial flavors. Now, I'm all for artificial sweeteners, that's fine. But when it comes to artificial crab flavor, I don't know how I feel about that. It tasted very unlike crab. I've had crab before, didn't taste like crab. So what is my point and how are we connecting this to the light aspect of the soul? We're connecting it to the light aspect of the soul because it deals with intelligence, it deals with creativity, and it deals with details. Reading the fine print. Reading the fine print. So when I used to be a real estate investor in New York and New Jersey about a decade ago, buying and selling properties, buying them, fixing them up, renting them out, buying them, fixing them up, or selling them, I had to do a lot of contracts. I had to read contracts from the sellers of the property, and then I also had to read, I had to create contracts for us to buy the property, what terms, and also I had to write the contracts of the people we were selling the properties to. So you always wanna have the best terms when you're buying and best terms when you're selling for you, right? So it's about the fine print, it's about details. So when we activate the light, the light aspect within ourselves and our throat chakra, which deals with details, becomes larger, we're able to penetrate subjects deeper and go, okay, here's where I'm at, this is what I want to materialize. What are all the steps? What are all the tasks? What are all the people? What are all the resources needed in the time frame needed to make that happen? That's why the throat chakra is considered the chakra of materialization. Because if the throat is strong, if it's clean, it's powerful, it can see all the details needed to make something happen. Right? Gary, I'm gonna mistake. So for instance, you have the Ajna chakra that deals with big picture, also connected to the light aspect. More so the, the power, but depends on what level of truth you're referring to. So this is the big picture. So this says, I'm gonna fly somewhere. I'm gonna take a vacation, I'm gonna go somewhere. That's the Ajna chakra. I'm gonna go somewhere, I'm gonna fly somewhere. Great. Where are you gonna fly? Where are you gonna fly? When are you gonna fly? What are you taking with you when you fly? Who's picking you up at the airport? When you land in that new destination, what are you gonna be doing? When are you gonna be flying back? What's your insurance gonna be? Your license, your passport, all of these things that you need, throat chakra. So in order to get things done in your life, whether it's in your health, your wealth, your career, 
spiritual growth and development, your relationships, you need to understand the details. So people have strong, powerful, clean throats, like a, a project manager, for instance, they can see things clearly and they go, aha, this is what I have to do to accomplish my target. A lot of people have a hard time with the throat. So the throat has to be cleaned energetically. The ajna has to be cleaned energetically. The throat has to be energized. Um, and the ajna has to be energized. People who read a lot have a lot of details about life. People who study have a lot of details about life. But they have to apply. Ivanov and I must say they have to apply what they're studying. So you can know a lot but have no understanding. You can know a lot and have no application of what you know. So Ajna and basic chakra. Basic chakra, the chakra of action. Ajna, the chakra of understanding and direction. Does that make sense? Super, super important. So that's why I wanted to jump on and share with you guys for this live stream is that I did not read the fine print of the chip bag that said artificial flavor of crab why do you need artificial flavor for crab? Right? Um, and reading the fine print helps you move forward. And actually that opens up a whole other conversation with the three aspects of the soul, light, love, and power. We're not going to go into it in this stream. Hmm. Let me make a note. How many of us have had decisions in our lives and we don't know what to do? We have option A, we have option B, we have option C. Which one do you choose? That is an activation of the light aspect. How do you know which one to choose and why? Option A, option B, option C. How do you know which one to choose and why? That's an aspect of the light the light aspect within you, discernment, truth, very, very powerful. It was, it was taught at a retreat by one of the masters this past year. But we don't have time to go into it right now. We'll talk about it some other time. But that's our conversation for this afternoon, guys. For those of you looking for healing, looking for transformation, feel free to reach out to me on my website, christianrlong.com. Don't forget the R christianrlong.com. Schedule either a consultation or a full-blown one-hour session of 30 minutes of coaching and 30 minutes of healing to move your life forward in whatever it is that you're looking for healing on. And then let me know how I can continue to serving you. We do these streams 8 o'clock in the morning, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and 6 o'clock in the evening for the purpose of feeding you with the aspects of the soul, which is light, love, and power. And today's topic was on light. Reading the fine print understanding details so the throat deals with details knowing the details and the ajna deals with understanding those details so read the fine print not only in your bags of chips maria i'm namaste but also reading the fine print in your life so love you guys very very much this is christian long life enhancement consultant wishing you a beautiful day a beautiful week and a weekend and a beautiful life atma namaste bye bye